Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Warno ranked match with the new division that just came out. 101st Airborne on the left side as myself, Chilchuck, um, on my alt. And then on the right side, we got good old forward here, one of the top players here, playing 5e on the right side in red. Let's go over my deployment first. I'm just opening up a tons of Aero Scouts. I've kind of figured out this is kind of the meta, opening up these 10 man squad recon units, which are really good actually. And then some Delta Forces here. Just spreading out along the line here, coming down here this way as well. It's off to go in the north with one recon, two recon going down this way. I'm opening up a little differently, no helos, opening up with two M1 IPs. Each is one vet, just double vet because the CV's nearby. With a whole bunch of air rifle dragons coming here and fire team dragons to back them up. No A at the start. I didn't really think he'd have too much aircraft in his deck. And over here, got another recon Tam Man Squad. Tam Man Squad going on the north with a CV as well. And the CV's going over here to cap these points. My opponent here opening up, you can already tell he's opening up heavily with AA, anticipating a lot of helos, Apaches, and Cobras, but that is the strength of 101st. You can pretty much bluff people just by playing the deck, and you can play a completely different style. You can kind of play an opener tank build uh, with this deck. So he's going to open up with two AA pieces here, a Mistral, a whole bunch of Escort PC with AMXP, another AMX race car, a, also another AMX race car here. These are the cheaper version, the 17 pen one. With some recon going up here at 50 cal. Another recon going over here. A lot of forces coming over here. Two commandos with more AA again with another Mistral and a uh, another 20 mil VAB with a whole bunch of Grenadiers in here. Uh, Voltigas. Just to make sure he looks like he's anticipating some type of healer rush over here. So we are bluffing him. Anyway, let's get this game going. Pretty standard opener for him, except he's playing definitely more passive this time than fight normally a 5e player would. He's trying to watch out for the helo rush, except, as I said, we got no helos. And this is going to be the strength of the 101st, is you can helo rush if you want, but also you don't have to in any way, and it's actually a pretty decent opener without any uh, helos. And Either way, though, this AA and so on will be a good investment. It'll keep me from getting any sort of aircraft or any type of... Uh, helos, which is the biggest threat to him is helos. This deck gets a lot of Apaches. Already in with my escort scouts. Probably could have made it a little bit further. I thought he'd play a little more aggressive here. Commandos are rotating over here. Commandos are 65 points with a 45 point helo. Does kill one of the transports here. 50 cal is going to start unloading on him though. Keeping suppression with the air scouts unloading. It's getting stunned there and 50 cal is going to keep shooting. And we do shoot him down. It's a big kill there. Over here, try to fire some shots here. Get a nice hit there. Air rifle fires another shot. Misses. Fires another one. Misses. I'm out of ammo, but he doesn't know that. We're going to hide over here. Thanks for moving up. We're about to start getting the real engagement. Two of my uh, 50, 50 cal versus 50 cal in this engagement. Though I do believe we are more vetted up. We are. We're double vet. He's not. He's zero vet. You can really tell how veterancy makes a huge difference in all these engagements here. Tanks moving up here now. He doesn't start out with any armor though, it's just a big just deficit. He's only got AMXs, he's already lost. Looks like he's lost uh, no, one rotated up north. This one gets wounded, moving up now. Everything. We got reinforcements coming up already. Buying four AA pieces now. And he's buying his, he's got a CV coming, he's got another CV coming this way. We got that plus five on him because he decided to go early. More investment on the, uh, the counter than uh, the captain points. He gets a gazelle ho two here. I got no AA. I got to back off right now. Can't take this engagement. I don't want to lose any of my tanks. I do get out of his range there. Does drip out. We're gonna start keep moving up here. Cassierzo again takes a pound against the air rifles. We're gonna start moving back up again. I'm gonna keep baiting some of his ATGM shots here. A is on its way. I'm thinking about buying a fighter in a second here. Come in. I got another M1 IP coming as well. Really great tank, 18 armor, 17 pen. Danny fires another shot, but I just back off. Make him waste it. He only has two more shots. He's finally capping all the zones here. I'm only going a little bit positive on him, not too much. And we see a push going on over here, here, over on the northern side. The 50 VAPs here, and air rifles just are double vetted. Unlikely for me to beat that engagement. It's probably going to go badly. Over here, though, we got a lot of unvetted troops, and we're pushing really hard here. Trying to follow up. We got our AA now coming up. I'm pushing it even further than normal. Tanks are moving up. Other tanks moving up here. We got an MIP command tank. That's four tanks on the battlefield. Still yet 
First tanks are coming out right now, AMX. Does miss a shot here. He only got one more round. He, he decided to move back though, seeing that there's a whole bunch of light trucks unloading. That's a good play by Ford here. Trying to keep his helos alive. He's got another Kazel cannon over here. So these escort guys are getting annihilated. Dragon teams are moving up. It's a nice hit there. It goes down. Taking a lot of casualties. We can just see me slowly moving up here. So the Vabs over here are going to start putting down some good firepower on me. Try firing some law shots here. Keep missing though. <laughs> the law just misses every time. Over here, they're moving up our tanks. He's trying to smoke me off, and I'm just going to keep moving forward. And an MIP is so superior to the AMX 30. And it's going to be a three on two and then superior tanks. You can see how little damage he's really doing. It does route one of my tanks. But goes down another. Moving over here now, trying to move up. We got another wave of troops coming up. He does come over here and attack me. And I'm trying to get these air rifles to land. I was really panicked right now. I was like, please land, please. The zero health. Luckily, he routes backwards. I'm able to get him down on the ground. Which is huge. <laughs> Over here, I'm getting annihilated. We're just pushing up here now, along the line. AMX does go down. Chassiers on these buildings are taking a pounding. He's got another tank trying to move over here, trying to get away. This is again. In my piece, even 70% accuracy. Fire another round to get the last hit on him. To try to get away with the turret being blown clean off. Mortars are putting down heat. Moving up a CV. I got two CVs now. And I got an AA now cover. Moving up my dragons. And we're moving up these Abrams here. Trying to get some kills. Whatever we can find. We kill Voltiga. We do get a tank here coming around the corner. Fires a shot, does one damage. <laughs> and then it gets popped. We see another vehicle here, though. We kill that. This one's coming in, though. I'm gonna have to back off, though. I don't have any AA that's forward up enough. There's an AMX here. This got a nice shot on me. A smoke. Misses that round there. I smoke this one as well. We're backing up. We've got a plane coming in to deal with that Ho-2. We actually get a nice shot there from the dragon up here, killing the AMX. Shoot down the plane. We're going to come by for another pass. We're going to keep going for the Ho-2s. Where they are the more bigger threat. Over here, he sent some reinforcements. Just a little action going on, but nothing too crazy. He can't really move in here. I got some air rifles, AT-4, ready for him. Get another King Phil. I'm going to evac now. We got a wave of more reinforcements on their way with some supplies. The tanks. He does shoot me down, actually. With his Mirage. But I'm not going to get in the zone with this. Doing a lot of his units here. We're just going to keep the pressure here with the dragon, air rifle dragon. Nine man squads. These air rifles are keeping these guys in combat. Loses a gazelle cannon there. And he does count me for a minute, but then he immediately goes down to the Humvee. And now the air rifles are able to mop that stuff up. I'm loading a commando there. He's getting more forces up here now. We're keeping the pressure. We've got four new air rifles on their way to solidify our control in this sector. The chess here is just not performing too well against them. And three tanks here are rearming with the fourth one in the zone.
Grenadier Volta Gear is going down. Even double vet. Can't really keep up. Got more air rifle dragons coming as well. And we just gotta keep moving up forces. That's the whole plan. R rotate the tanks in, repair them, and then immediately keep rotating elite infantry into these buildings where we're just gonna outgrind the commandos. Even the commandos are gonna not really go toe to toe with our elite infantry. And just keep on the pressure. And when I peek. Getting some shots now, like man, he's backing him off though to keep it covered. Mortars are just keep laying down sh shots on me. Getting nice hits on the airborne dragon here. Or the air rifle. I keep calling them airborne, but they're really not. <laughs> yeah, Milan 2 here. 70 points here, but against 3 Abrams here. Not looking good. Does get a hit on one of them. In front of that doesn't do any actual hits. Let's have a heavy tank now with 19 pen. Better tank. This is 3v1. Get another AMX. This is a better version 19 pen gun. It's nice hits on me. I'm gonna smoke him back off here. I'm in no rush. Missed our shot again. Air rifles have unloaded. Now they're pulling up. We're mopping up in the north against the Grenadier Voltiga. And we're going to call in some artillery in a minute. We're suppressing these mortars. Mirage coming in. Trying to go for the Helo Cobra that I'm pulling up. I do have enough A to shoot him down. But sadly, he does shoot me down. And he actually gets away with it. That was just crazy. So going to keep moving in here now. I'm going to start giving orders. I do have another Cobra here. I'm going to put some rounds into the commandos. I was just taking a pounding. Now we got drag in the towers. Flies back over to try to get killed. Does get shot down this time. Loses a piece. We are all over the zone now. Trying to move up here. Loses its heavy tank. It's only got a chest here left. Hiding behind it is the CV. He's gonna run the CV out of the zone. And luckily he gets away with it. <laughs> but not with the <laughs> dragons. I'm dropping off some air rifles here. Gets a nice shot, <laughs> shot on me. Unloading these guys. He does have a 50 cal on my rear line. He does bail me out there. AMX is coming up to finish me off. See him coming right here. Misses. I was thinking about saying the Sealer to go, you know, rearm them. He gets a side shot on me and goes down. Two ho twos are here now. A nice shot on the AMX. No, no kill, but damage. I'm trying to move in here. This both he goes. Grenadiers. But they're not doing too high. He's going to fly a gazelle right on top of me. I don't have anything, any AA sufficiently in the area. Big fatal flaw by me. Here, these guys are moving along the side now. Putting a lot of firepower on this. Sadly, it doesn't go out well there. I do send a fire F4 Phantom coming in. I was going to go for the Ho 2 first because there's the GM Hilo. Bigger threat. I come back around this time. I was gonna go for this one, but this one landed. I'm gonna go over the gazelle. I pretty much killed two squads there by itself. Coming in now. Been killed. Mirage 2000 looking to get a kill on me. I do get a nice hit on him with my missile as I leave out. I do eat back there. Toe twos are coming in to solidify the line. Pretty much locked down this area. We've locked down the north as well. Plus four against them. It's pretty hard. 
He's got two more heavy tanks in here, but I am moving up AT forces onto him, and he really doesn't have anything to stop these guys. Yeah, he doesn't have anything. About to make contact here. Chest here is engaged, but chest here is not going to be AT4. He realizes this and really he's going to back off. Leave the chest here to their own deaths. <laughs> Rotate this recon from the north down to the mid. I saw something drive down this. I wanted to make sure I get rid of it, whatever it is. Got a commando coming in here. And these guys are trying to get into the zone, but they're taking a pounding, fighting the big, large squads. HE bombers coming in now, going in for a dragon squad. Kills me. We do shoot him down immediately. So, good trade for us. Keep moving up here. We got our three artillery pieces coming into the town, but he does surround it there. No, and then we pretty much locked him out of the zone. So it's a really, really strong deck, honestly. It's not that bad. It's got a lot of dragon teams. That's what's really strong about it. Dragon, dragon, dragon. And the M1 IPs are a really decent tank and really strong, especially against decks like uh, Fifth, where a little bit heavier class than them, but not too expensive, where you're not losing anything too costly. But yeah, just a pretty fun deck overall. Um, guys, tell me what you guys think about 101st. I'm really liking it. I do think the other deck is a little bit better. We'll, we'll show that tomorrow. But um, I'll see you guys around. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.